so right now i'm going to be showing you some of the ls models uh there's v cross uh, just in a minute let me show you some of these few isuzu ls models i've been having dreams let me maybe the marketing agent i don't know he's going to give us the specifications and tell us something about it So as I mentioned earlier, we're going to be reviewing this Isuzu Double Cabin Pickup. It's an LLS series. Like, like last time we reviewed the Land Cruisers, the ones I told you about. So I'm just going to get one of the one of the ex exhibitors. I don't know if I'm using the right English word. <laughs> Never mind, I'm going to be using one of the officials uh, who are going to... Actually, he, he is going to just tell me more about this car yet yeah, so for now let me call him and then we we'll see what he tells us about the car and some of the specifics I've been having My name is Douglas Kawaya. I'm a manager of Marcus Tafita. Marcus Tafita is an authorized uh, dealer for Isuzu in Uganda, dealing in a range of vehicles, Isuzu. Uh, so we have the pickups, uh, 2.5 liter, which is the 6th generation. We have the 1.9 liter, which is the 7th generation. We also have a 3.0 liter, 7th generation, which comes in three trims. And then we have the SUV, the Isuzu MUX, which also comes in two trims. Oh, this one specifically, is it a diesel engine? Or I think most times they're diesel. This is a diesel engine. Okay. It's the latest in the range. It's the 1.9 liter. Oh, wow. uh, yes, it's 1.9 liter double cabin. It also comes in single cabin, 4x4. Okay. Um, this is the LS version, which oh. is the medium spec. We have both trim. We have the L, which is a little bit more basic, more of a workhorse. You'll find the rims are steel. You'll find the, um, the, the windows are automatic, yes, but uh, you don't have the one touch down uh, to, to lower the window. You also do, uh, the side mirrors will be basic and they don't have, they're not color coded. They're just the normal black uh, side mirrors. You won't find the repeater side indicators on there. So this is the medium spec. Uh, which comes with uh, 17 inch alloy rims, okay. uh, single tone uh, rim color. We have uh, now it comes standard with the side side step bars. Okay. It comes uh, standard with a repeater side indicator uh, on the side mirrors. Uh, it's also a six speed manual transmission. What has changed mm, basically okay. is that the pickup has moved from 2.5 to 1.9 liter. Yeah, okay. yeah uh, in line with uh, trying to make sure that we are compliant yeah, yeah, to the yeah. environment uh, wow. and also emission standards. Uh, horsepower wise, is there anything? Yes, that... the power output has changed from 100 kilowatts, mm. which was on the 2.5 liter, oh. and now it's 110 kilowatts. Oh, oh okay. But I want to demystify. Um, mm. People um, relate power or, or capacity or ability of a vehicle to the engine size yes it's yes. not actually the case mm. as you may have noticed most of the engines globally mm. are becoming smaller they're being downsized basically mm. to make sure that uh, we can comply to environment and emission standards sure so what happens is the manufacturers find a way of producing more power mm -hmm. with a smaller engine okay so this 1.9 mm. produces more power simply because the engine bore and stroke have yeah. been increased how they increase by making the engine deeper and the pistons longer mm. that mm. way you have a longer compression mm. ratio sure. so the bigger the compression mm. ratio the higher the power out even mm. if the engine is smaller so that is how we're able to achieve uh, mm. the power output okay so the 1.9 liter now boasts of uh, daytime running lights oh. and fog lights as well we've, we've changed the whole face mm. of the vehicle 
with a duo uh, grill uh, with two with the two fans uh, that are signature to Isuzu, but also giving the lower uh, part of the grill a little bit wider uh, spacing with the black piano finishing, which makes it a little bit much easier for the vehicle to breathe and the radiator to have proper aeration. We have with us now shown before uh, we've changed from the indicators on the body side. Now they are on the side mirror, making it much easier and much more visible. Uh, I was about to ask traffic. about that actually. Yes. <laughs> so it becomes much easier for oncoming traffic to yeah. see that the vehicle is uh, approaching or making a turn. Yeah. We have side steps that I've mentioned. Now they come standard. Yeah. Previously they were optional. Um, we now have a sports yeah. bar that comes standard with Hello the vehicle everyone. on the LS models. The tires have now moved from 16 inch to 17 inch. We have added a lockable tailgate. We have parking assist at the rear for proximity and also have added a reverse parking camera for visual uh, for visual uh, use when you when you're reversing. Like I mentioned, the LS comes with color-coded door handles and the side mirrors as well are color-coded compared to the L which only had uh, the black the, the black uh, Is there side mirrors. anything new about the interior compared the, to the former version? The interior has totally changed as well. Yeah. As you can see, you'll see previously it was all plastic but now we've added some cloth accents on the doors. The seats have changed. They're now hand-stitched uh, high-grade uh, cloth on this model on the other models you'll see that it will it, it, it is leather uh, on the interior again with us we have at the front and we have one right overhead then we've added at the rear we've added one more handle for for access into the vehicle as well as the traditional one that was there before uh, at the rear also you'll notice that we have added a charging port, a USB charging port, and also we have added uh, an armrest at the at the center with two cup heel start on this model and all the other models. So this being the medium spec on the 1.9, it means everything that you see here has been either added on every other new model or even made better for the other models. We also have uh, the diff lock, which has now been added. We had limited slip differential. Now we have the diff lock as well. We have a multi-function steering wheel, which comes with uh, audio controls and cruise control as well. And also the display is multi-function with uh, lots of information. It's a multi-function information display. It gives you a lot of information on the servicing of the vehicle, the fuel economy, the, the different features around the vehicle that you need to be uh, paying attention to. So this is the new uh, 1.9 liter LS 4x4 double cabin Isuzu and anytime you want to contact us please feel free you are located at Old Fort Bell Road uh, just after Ministry of Internal Affairs and we are marked East Africa the authorized dealers for Isuzu.